I think it was amazing that the sequence of events happened, that the artwork was filmed and was there, and then the work was destroyed and was still there to tell the story of it. And it, it seems like that was all just part of the, the mythos that was unfolding. I think that first film captured that face uh, in Jerry's life in a pretty dramatic way. To go from the fullness of overwhelmment of images that you're bombarded with in that film to the stillness of the letting go. Um, I think that comes through and I think it affects people in very different ways. You know, some people are very agitated by it, some people are um, very touched by it. I think it um, presses people in places that they may have sensitivities about the creative process or, you know, what you do with your life. And so it's very evocative, and, and that's, that's a powerful work in that way. One day, I just knew something important was going to happen, some step closer to God. And I began fasting. And for 15 days, I didn't eat anything. And for the next 15 days, I ate only the, the scraps that came by chance from God. And after about a month, an inspiration came through the heart that was so strong that I just cried and I couldn't deal with it. It was so powerful that I just knew I had to destroy the work. And when I said no, because it was like dying, and to give up all that I'd been, all of my talent, all of my education, all of my money, was very scary. But to say no was to enter into absolute darkness, absolute hell. And that was my stinky little will trying to trying to hold back the, the giant of God. And when I said yes, I instantly was elevated beyond what I can't even talk about. And so on the strength of that black and white simplicity, which was not about me and not about art and not about anything in this world, but just about what's real, I destroyed all of my paintings. I just can't tell you the miracle that has been since then. But all I'm saying in simple, loving words is that only God is real. It seems to me uh, that Jerry you know, showed an incredible kind of courage in following an image which, to begin with, actually exiled him from his discipline and exiled him from his inheritance and cast him, in a way, out into the dark. But if you actually look into the artistic traditions, uh, you'll see that this is a well-known motif. If you take uh, Dante's Commedia, for instance, it begins with the words in medieval Italian where Dante said, nel mezzo del cammin di nostra vita me retrovai per una selva oscura. In the middle of the road of my life, I awoke in the dark wood where the true way was wholly lost. If anything was given to the form that I so much believed in called art, I think it has been more about surrender and defeat rather than accomplishment and success in an obvious sense where one is in control of one's reality. I have never known a greater moment than the moment I destroyed my art and what life became after that, which included giving away everything I owned, giving all my money away, celibacy, and uh, living this way for the most part for 15 years. My life has been a strange one. It has been strange even to me. And I, I feel like it has made more sense as, it, as time goes on 
And I feel like it's, it's sensible in relation to where it is we as a world are going. The powerful experiences you feel from Jerry's uh, life and work is that there's a tremendous underlying faith to it and a faith in the emergence of things and a lack of uh, willfulness. And I think one of the great things about the horizon of death is that you uh, intuit that on the other side you will have to uh, exist without your willful attempt to hold everything together. And so what you're actually doing is, is joining the great belonging. His art, as far as I'm concerned, is his life. There is no separation. And his life as it manifests with whoever comes into his mandala, whether they are the most extraordinarily well-known people of import or the most humble and lost and troubled people. And that ability to be absolutely present in the most rigorous honesty and genuine compassion of anyone I've met on this planet is his art. I have a friend, a young girl by the name of Lucy. One day I had heard she had been ill and I went to visit her. I was working on this art piece and I thought I would include her face. And while visiting her, she was showing me a school project that uh, it was actually dissecting these owl pellets, which included hair and teeth and bone. She had them all displayed on a little piece of paper. This was all very connected to the final outcome of this art piece, I, I thought, because the art piece also had hair and teeth and bone. And um, part of the way this thing unfolded is uh, Lucy's illness just held on for the longest time. And she was brought to the doctor and finally to the hospital where they diagnosed an illness called a homunculus, which um, it's a tumor in the lung. And the tumor actually produced hair and teeth and bone. I just felt this whole process and having such love for Lucy as this phenomenal little being who's uh, very much in Marilyn in my life, who we love very much, I I felt it was just this kind of magical connection and there's something about when that happens with my creations that I feel all is well on the creative front. In terms of art, I feel like that's what I most want to be about right now, that mystery. And I don't think it's about knowing as much as it is about living into the love we feel for other people. 